guys how are you i hope all you are doing good welcome to the learn code easily so today we will solve one of the most important question that is subset and there are many variation you can find on the lead code so let's begin so given an integer array nums of unique element so every element is unique that we have to return all possible subsets the power set the solution set must not contain duplicate subset return the solution in any order so must not contain duplicate subset if we do if we have a unique element if we have unique element in our array then we then we do not have any of the duplicacy so the first question is i hope you understood so the first question is how we can solve this problem so if we have 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so what are the possible subsets possible subsets possible subset means what we take and what we uh, what we are not going to take so if we do not take any of the elements so the first subset is empty if we take only one element so that could be one that could be two that could be three and that could be four if you can take two element so that could be one comma two that could be one comma three that could be one comma four that could be two comma three that could be two comma four that could be 3 comma 4 and you cannot take 4 comma 4 because there should not be any duplicacy if you take 3 element so that could be 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 can you take any other no you, you cannot take so 1 2 3 4 is done 1 2 1 3 1 4 2 3 2 4 3 4 1 2 3 one two four two three four so these are the possible subset <coughs> so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen one two three four five six seven eight so if there are three elements and to the power of three subset is possible that is eight so here so there should be there there must be 14 16 subset so this is 1 this is 2 3 4 1 2 1 3 1 4 2 3 2 4 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so let's So here we will see what is the possible subsets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay. 1, 2, 3, 1, comma, 3, comma, 4, 1, 2, 4, 2, 3, 4, and we can take all the elements that is 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. So these are the possible subsets so so first let's implement it so implementation is very easy so we will take one of the function that is subset subset is already given so we i will take subset not the subsets so this is my index and the next next one is l uh, you can l or you you can say intermediate list intermediate list is this one two three four so and this is our this is my complete result list so i will take result list so here i have taken the two list so what we have to do we have to call the subset function so i have to run a loop for this So I have to I have to call it recursively. So this will be intermediate list. So if so when we are calling, so before calling we, I have to append the correct index value to my 
list. So I have appended appended what I have I have to append I have to nums of j and the same list I have to append to my result list. So we have to call again and again. So at a point my i will become to the length of list uh, length of nums. So we have to, what I have to I have to just return it and I have to pop the last element. Assume I have inserted one, I have append one, I have appended one comma two, I have appended one comma three. So I have to append I have to pop this last element so that I could get the second subset. Try to run it. So, <clears throat> so it has been run properly, as you can see. Let's try to submit it. So it is 79% faster. So I hope you understood. So what we are so here what I what I am doing here. First I am uh, taking uh, I am inserting uh, this complete list to my result list. So the result list will have one. Then it will have one comma two. Then it will have one comma two comma three. So at this point my index become three. So I will go there and I will see it. It is become equal. So it will come and it will pop. Uh, this element so we are popping the last element now we are popping this one now we are inserting one comma three uh, here we will insert one comma two comma three then we are inserting one comma two comma three comma four here it will become then I will I will insert one comma two comma four so then I will insert one comma four. So I have to insert in this manner. I have to pop the last element so that I could get get the next index. So here you have to insert, and here here you have to pop the the inserted last element. <coughs> so I hope you understood, guys. I will meet in the next video. With the next video. Till then, bye bye.